In this video, we're going to be installing Ubuntu Touch on a OnePlus 3. So in order to do that, we also need to downgrade the Android version to Android 9. I'm going to assume that you've already installed platform tools so that you can run the commands. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I have also downloaded TWRP and the Android 9 image, both for which I will put the links in the description. Looking at this device, we can see it is on Android version 11. So right now, Ubuntu Touch requires devices to be on Android 9. The first step is to unlock the bootloader. There are a lot of tutorials online to unlock the bootloader and the OnePlus 3 is very simple to unlock. First you enable developer mode and then go to developer settings. We need to enable USB debugging so that we can send commands from the computer and accept the connection. Next you want to enable OEM Unlock. Now this device I've already unlocked so you'll see that it's grayed out. It's an easy command to use from the bootloader. Then we'll reboot to the bootloader. You can see that the device is already unlocked. And I'm going to flash TWRP recovery software. Next, boot into recovery mode. So I'm going to hit advanced ADB sideload so I can flash the Android 9 firmware which I have downloaded already and I'll put that link in the description. Before that I'm actually going to wipe the device first so pressing on wipe and then accept. Side loading the firmware takes a while and the percentage that shows up in the console doesn't really reflect where it's at. But if you wait, it will finish after a few minutes. It takes quite a while, so I'm going to probably skip ahead here. Skipping ahead, now that the flashing is done, it will tell you that it was successful or not. And reboot the system. So now we've flashed Oxygen OS, the original firmware, with an Android 9 version. Please note that this first boot will take a long time. So it's booting into Oxygen OS now and it takes a lot longer than a normal boot. But if it's flashed correctly, it should work after about 5 to 10 minutes. Now it's booted, we can go through the usual setup.
At this point, these settings don't really matter, but I usually am just in a habit of skipping through and not accepting most of the agreements. So since this is a completely new flash of the device, we have to enable developer mode again, USB debugging, so that we can start to install Ubuntu Touch. So go to settings, about phone, and click on, you see we are on Android version 9 now, this is good. So now we can be prepared to install Ubuntu Touch. So from settings, we need to click on the build number a few times to enable the developer mode. Then go back to system scroll down developer options is now enabled and again we want to search for USB debugging and enable that. So with the device plugged into the computer we allow the connection and then we want to boot into recovery mode again. So now it looks a little different because we've reflashed Oxygen OS, but we want to get to fast boot mode. Once in fast boot, we have to flash TWRP again. So fast boot flash recovery and TWRP. Then we boot into recovery mode. So before we install Ubuntu Touch, we need to change the file system to ext4. Sometimes it might give you errors, so just pay attention and make sure that it works properly. So data and system need to be in ext4. Then we will open the UV ports installer. By default, in this mode, it will detect the correct device and prepare installation. So it tells you you have to format the data and system partitions to ext4, which we already did. And we are going to install Ubuntu Touch. Now here, there's first install and then factory reset options, but if you click the factory reset, check mark it won't install that's a weird bug that we're experiencing right now so leave that one unchecked and follow the instructions in 
the installer. Now you want to wipe all these partitions. Format, type in yes. And once that's done, we'll click continue and the flashing of the firmware will continue. The UB ports installer is really great and it does most of the work for you. There are a few bugs, just like that checkbox issue that we have with the OnePlus 3, but as you can see, it will start flashing everything else for you and if successful, we'll have Ubuntu Touch running at the end. So now the device is rebooting and I want to wait until it's working before I respond to this result. So again, there's a bit of a long boot this first time. But I'm going to say it's successful, except it was a little wonky with that checkbox issue. So I'm going to report how that turned out and then send in the report. So the device will reboot again and this point it should be booting into Ubuntu Touch. If not, repeat all the steps again. Remember to leave that wipe checkbox unticked, even if it's the first time installing. You've already formatted the data and system partitions so there's really nothing left to wipe anyway. Here we're booting into Ubuntu Touch on OnePlus 3. Thanks again for watching and remember to subscribe.